Let's give a warm round of applause to the courtyard house. been playing music together for a long time, but Courtyard Hounds has its own identity and its own sound. How did you shape and develop that? Courtyard Hounds kind of came about by accident in a way because I was writing songs on our Dixie Chick hiatus and I was sending them to Marty saying, you know, who should I pitch these to? And she was my biggest cheerleader and said, you need to sing these songs. So that was kind of the impetus to start just practicing together. What was the writing process like for that second album that came out? Was it different from the first? Yeah, because on the first album, Emily had written a lot about her own personal <laughs> junk. <laughs> and uh, the second one, we consciously made an effort to write together as sisters and also write with Emily's husband, Martin Strayer. And we found this kind of synergy between the three of us. Being sisters, I'm so curious, getting to play music together as family members, is that a different level of bonding? Do you push each other to do different things? Have you found you've gotten closer? We always felt like we were close because we grew up playing music together and we kind of finish each other's sentences. And okay. both <laughs> yeah. Both musically and, you know, just in everyday life. Well, I feel so lucky. It's never really been any other way. We've been, my first band, I was 12, and when Emily turned 10, she joined my band. Oh, she, was, she, was, she was actually very angry about that. She, she used to come in my room and beat me up. <laughs> Wait, she hasn't the, done that for a while. For a while. For sure. Well, what was the name of that band? Uh, the Blue Night Express. Oh, I love that. Texas' youngest bluegrass band. Pre-YouTube. <laughs> Pre I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God. Tonight, you know, Kids in a New Groove is such an exceptional organization and music and children's lives and you guys have your own families. How does it speak to you, just the event? In the organization. Well, gosh, I was talking to some of the band members about it because when they heard what it was about, our band, they all were like, well, I want to be a mentor, I want to be a mentor, how do I become one? And we were just talking about how, as a musician, when you grow up, there's usually that one pivotal person, whether it's your parent or your instructor or just a show you saw where you got inspired, inspired. to do what you want to do. So there might be that one moment in a child's life that wouldn't normally have that, an opportunity to have that moment through this charity. Karen invited us to come. We felt honored to be here, number one, but number two, I think um, I work with um, foster kids down in San Antonio uh -huh. and we, we try and you know bring them music whenever we can because it's such a release and it's such a way for them to get outside their everyday life and find um, an outlet for that an passion. outlet for whatever's going on in their own life. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for sharing with us. Thank you. Cheers to y'all and have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank we will. You.